Hi Jared, and welcome to Fashion Exposed. Hi, how are you going? Good. Uh, so you took us through several channels today, um, basically what a business can use yep. to bring more customers in their store. Um, what are some of the ones that you would recommend, the top four channels? Because there's obviously a lot of them out there. Yeah, so I guess there's a lot of channels. Um, from a fashion perspective, I think I might go over four because there's uh, sort of a, what you'd call mainstream and emerging. So obviously Facebook, YouTube and Twitter are almost your uh, mainstream channels that I think you need a presence on. Um, but the, the fact is you don't just jump onto Facebook and create an account and don't use it. So it's all about your content strategy. It's about keeping a constant flow of messages and activating your community to talk and, uh, and I guess uh, participate in the conversation you're having. Uh, the other ones we touched on with Polyball, which is basically a style board or mood board creator um, that allows people to mix and match different imagery of fashion and shoes and colour palettes and inspiration together to create their own style and mood boards, which we're seeing more brands use now. Uh, Pinterest, um, another massive emerging, one of the fastest growing social media channels, um, is basically like a cork board where you can, or a pin board where you can actually pin your inspiration onto your own boards um, moving forward so you might have a might be doing color blocking or something like that so you start pinning your inspiration for that onto the different boards and, and allowing consumers to almost get a snapshot of what your collection is going to be like um, in spring or or for the next season with so many channels um, you talked about content connection how do you create valuable creative content so I think for us what we like to do is we look at a brand and we simplify it down to a one sentence or an ethos or a mission that that brand wants to have. So there's no point trying to play into all these different sort of, uh, I guess, uh, messages or, or whatnot because there's already established big beauty and, and fashion um, brands that are across all this. So you really need to look at what your brand or what your label means and why you why you wanted to create it. Um, is it about luxury? Is it about is it about love did you get inspiration from love and look at what that is and come up with a one sentence that's very easy to explain um, and then look at the voice so the tonality of your brand do you want to be fun do you want to be sexy do you want to be playful do you want to be sophisticated or conservative um, and really define that and then with your content plan look at the types of things that your brand can talk about whether it's um, top 10 lists or it's themes so you might have a theme um, every month that might be about different cities around the world that you're inspired by. Um, so just really interesting stuff that consumers can comment on, they can get inspiration about. We talked about backstage, so behind the scenes when you're actually creating, you know, consumers love to actually dive into that and look at the different types of ways that you create your collections and be part, feel like they're part of the brand. It's not just the brand you're trying to sell something to them, but you're also allowing your consumers to, uh, to come into your world, you know, lifting the curtain, if, if you like. So it's almost that seamless approach in that you were talking about merging digital with reality. And yeah. is that sort of something where omni-channel comes into now? Yeah, so I think the omni-channel approach, um, and I guess that is mixed with another word that um, gets thrown around a lot through uh, America and Europe, which is transmedia. So when we sort of look at anything we're sort of uh, doing from a digital perspective, um, and we, I guess we discussed before that digital is probably going to be phased out very soon because the way we consume and the way we actually live our lives, we've got something in our pocket all the time, which is a digital device, but it's in the real world. So the two are merging together very fast and uh, transmedia is all about telling stories. So your brand might have a story about what inspired your collection tell that story in the real world and the digital world, merge the two together so that comes back to the omni-channel approach which is all about basically your consumer journey or your consumer experience. They might walk into a store, they might purchase something, the communication shouldn't end there. You should take them back online and, and give them a taste, reward them, do something with them and then maybe they move into a different digital channel like Twitter, they talk about it and, and from there you can communicate them to go back into store to maybe be part of be part of your next TVC or your film clip. So it's, it's all about what is that consumer experience that you want to have. It doesn't have to finish with them buying something. You might want them to do reviews afterwards. You might want them to talk about why they bought the pair of shoes um, and just offering the best con, uh, experience to your consumer. Well, we're seeing big brands do that now. Do you think Australia, we're going to see a lot more of that coming here in the near future? Yeah, I think so. I think what's really interesting about um, a lot of the brands that um, have been doing it is 
is also with the niche and the cooler brands because that's something especially with these more niche like Polywow we also touched on Instagram which is a, a photo sharing uh, network is these sort of uh, smaller niche brands they still have that cool factor in a lot of ways attached to them so you can be very smart and clever and really reposition yourself or position yourself um, how you want to through these different channels and I think um, you know, in a lot of ways, you know, Australians, we're very active in digital. Um, we don't necessarily do follow the US or, or Europe when it comes to migrating or grabbing onto a new piece of technology. So it's something that I think um, more and more brands and, and the brands we work with, uh, we're already starting to uh, experiment and, and explore. It's, it's free, so you can just get exactly. out there and do it. Yeah, fantastic. Thanks for your time. That's right.